Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm diving deep into one of the most asked questions. What's the best time to visit Thailand? I've personally traveled through Thailand multiple times, from the beautiful islands in the south to the temples in the north, and I'm gonna break down the 12 most important things you need to know before planning your trip. Stick around, because tip number 11 might just save you a ton of money and help you avoid crowds. One, understand Thailand's seasons. Thailand's climate can be tricky to navigate, especially if it's your first time visiting. The country has three main seasons, cool, hot, and rainy. The cool season from November to February is considered the best time to visit. It's sunny, dry, and perfect for everything from exploring Bangkok to relaxing on the beaches of Phuket or Krabi. Trust me, you don't wanna be sweating buckets in the middle of the hot season. Two. Avoid the burning season in northern Thailand. If you're planning to head to the north, especially to places like Chiang Mai, listen closely. Avoid visiting between January and March. This is when the burning season hits, causing a lot of smoke pollution due to agricultural practices. You'll get the best weather and clean air if you visit between November and February, so plan accordingly. Three, best time for island hopping in the south. If you're dreaming of island hopping, timing is crucial. The West Coast islands like Phuket and Krabi are best visited from November to April when the weather is dry and the seas are calm. However, if you're headed to the Gulf of Thailand islands like Koh Samui or Koh Phangan, you'll want to aim for December to February. Trust me, there's nothing worse than having your beach day ruined by rain. 4. When to get the best deals and avoid crowds. Want to save money? Consider visiting during the shoulder seasons, April to May or September to October. You'll find cheaper flights, lower accommodation costs, and smaller crowds. Sure, you might experience some rain, but a few showers can be a fair trade-off for scoring some great deals. 5. Festivals that you shouldn't miss. Festivals are one of the best ways to experience Thai culture. The Songkran Festival in April is absolutely wild. Imagine countrywide water fights to celebrate the Thai New Year. If you prefer something more peaceful, check out the Yi Pung Lantern Festival in November, where thousands of lanterns light up the night sky in Chiang Mai. It's pure magic. 6. The Hidden Gem of Off-Season Travel I've found that visiting during the low season has some surprising perks. Sure, the rainy season from June to October means more frequent downpours, but it also means lush green landscapes and fewer tourists. Plus, prices drop significantly. So if you're looking for a more intimate experience, this might be the way to go. Just remember to pack an umbrella. 7. Visiting Thailand's National Parks Nature lovers, this tip is for you. Thailand's national parks like Khao Yai and Doi Inthanon are at their best during the cool season from November to February. During the rainy season, many parks may close trails and conditions can get muddy and slippery, so stick to the cooler months for the safest and most enjoyable experience. 8. Regional Differences North versus South Did you know that Thailand's weather changes dramatically between regions? In the north, especially in places like Chiang Mai, it can get quite chilly in the winter months, with temperatures dropping as low as 10 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, in the south, it stays warm year-round. Make sure to pack appropriately based on where you're headed. 9. Planning for water sports If you're into water sports like scuba diving or surfing, timing is key. The cool season from November to February is the best time for activities like diving in Koh Tao, as the water is at its clearest. For surfing in Phuket, you'll want to hit the waves during the same period when conditions are just right. 10. Insider tip be flexible with your itinerary. One of the best travel lessons I've learned over the years, be flexible. Thailand's weather can be unpredictable, especially during the rainy season. It's always good to have a backup plan for indoor activities like exploring temples or museums if the weather doesn't cooperate with your outdoor plans. 11. How to beat the crowds. Here's the money-saving tip I promised. If you're visiting popular spots like the Grand Palace in Bangkok or the Emerald Buddha Temple, Go as early as possible, like before 8 a.m. You'll avoid the heavy crowds and get a more peaceful experience without bumping into tons of other tourists. 12. Key 
Keep an eye on environmental changes. This is a newer but important tip. Thailand, like many other countries, has been experiencing climate change effects. Weather patterns are shifting slightly, which could mean an unexpected downpour in what should be the dry season. It's worth checking the forecast closer to your trip to avoid any surprises. And that wraps up my guide to the best time to visit Thailand. I hope these 12 tips helped you plan your perfect trip. If you have any more questions or even some personal tips of your own, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more travel guides and tips. Happy traveling.